Hey guys, it's Voltar here, and it's 9 p.m. in the lab. I've got a lot of work ahead of me, but I'm kind of bored as hell right now, so I thought I'd shoot some very poorly edited, off-the-cuff, on-the-fly videos. Um, a friend of mine sent me this beautiful copy of Final Fantasy III and this ASCII uh, titled, titled Ninjara Hoi Os! And I, I hope everyone's had a nice day today. It's been a, it's been a fairly nice day for me. Um, had, a, had a lot of productive stuff happen. And it was pretty good. Okay, there's one side here. Um, but, you know, I, I think I should do more videos like this, where they're kind of impromptu. Where, you know, it's not really sophisticated and there's not a lot of fun editing or anything. Oh, look at this! Wow, somebody's replaced the battery in this bad boy. Wow, that's pretty cool. And that's, that's rather recent, too. Jesus, I gotta tell you, I've really, I've probably disassembled a hundred or so Famicom carts, and I've never seen uh, a Famicom cart with the battery replaced, so that's pretty cool. Um, damn, that is pretty cool. Okay, so, uh, let's see, I've got the, uh, let's see, I've got my board here programmed and ready to go. Let me see if I can just zoom in a bit here, in real time. Alright, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about lifting that output enable pin out of circuit, I'm just going to, uh, uh, I'm just going to clip it like a man. So let's see, that's 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22's output enable. I'm just going to come in here flush, do a little cutting, like that. Perfect. Okay, so let me see, I've got some conductor here somewhere. Okay. And let's see, I'll just dry measure this. I'm going to go in dry. I'm sure you, uh, some of you men out there can relate to that. And, let's see, I'm needing, where the hell, oh, here they are, let's see, actually, let's just do that again, well, no, I have it here still, so, before we solder that in, I need to tin these little jewels up here, so, let's see, I've got VCC right here, tin that up like that, I can zoom in a little more for you guys, surely, that's pretty good, how about that, okay, so we've got VCC, Tinned up here pretty nicely, and I'm just going to tin our output navel just like that. And let's see, We've got a little conductor here that we just cut. Maybe I'll cut another one. Maybe I'll cut another one. All right. So let's do a little measuring here. Uh, that looks pretty good right there. Okay. And that's pretty good, right? Yeah, okay, so we'll just cut that right there to size. I'll go ahead and strip both of these ends to make my life easier. Oh, and I've linked these. Now, I've had I've had this pair of Paladin uh, P20s for, I don't know, at least seven or eight years, maybe even ten years. I have the orange hound ones, and they are so old. But let me tell you something. When it comes to cutting 30-odd uh, conductors, it's, you can't even see it anymore, but this... These are a great, great set of um, strippers to have because it it does so beautifully, just as you see here. And uh, somebody asked me um, something else here. Now this is just some some um, uh, rosin uh, soldering flex paste. Okay, and you know I've, I've shown this before, but people often ask, you know, if you, if you want to get good wetting, just take your conductor. Okay, before you solder it to the board, if you if you want to get good wetting, just do a little dunk. Just like that. Just just a little dunk. Now we're going to bring this back in here, and I'm going to show you. If you give it a little dunk, your wetting performance will go um, off the charts here. So I'm just going to hold this here like that. I'm going to wet that in just for a split second, like that. Man. Man. That is a beautiful joint. All right, so I'm going to just come here and... Yeah, we've got about three millimeters we need to shave off of that, which is totally fine. I thought I had a good... This is, this is my shitty pair of cutters. Oh, here they are. Here's the good pair. Okay. That's why those cuts weren't so clean. All right, so I'm just going to come right in there and just do a little measurement. That. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right on the money. So I'm going to lift that up like that. I'd still like to show you guys what I'm doing here, even though I'm just kind of mumbling on, but that's sort of the point. 
So I'm just going to lift that up. And again, the, the Paladin P20 is here. I'm just going to come in here and just take the lip off of this. I like that. A pull. It's really nice. And again, I've got my flux paste here. If I just want to make this nicer, I'm just going to submerge my uh, conductor here. It's a solid core 30 aug is what we're using. All right, so I'm just going to come right back in here. And, you know, this is where I'd love to have my tweezers. Um, let's see if I have my... No, I don't even know where my masturbatory tweezers are. Let me take a look here. Let me look in a drawer. Uh, oh, here's some. These will do the job. Now, if you want to get those nice, tight runs, um, you know, not like you had last night when Grandma made salad for you, but uh, uh, what I like to do is I like to take my tweezers, and I just, I just hold the conductor taut. So hard to do with the camera here. Now hold the conductor hot, a taut like that right there. I'm just going to come in here. Nice little two count, really. Whoops, I bumped the camera. I'm sorry about that. Let me, let me straighten her up here. Okay, so uh, we use the tweezers here, and we put a little bit of tension, not too much, though, on the old, uh, on the old conductor, but that's, that's the prep work for the, for the mask ROM. Now, you know, as I said in the tutorial video, um, pin 22 for program memory is output enable. We've lifted and isolated that. And uh, we just uh, tie it to a high logic state, and that will decouple this mask ROM completely from the bus without having to remove it. So that's always wonderful. So let's see if we can just flip this around here. Okay, that's still pretty good. Now here's the NES 8-bitter, and I've actually already um, dumped the cart, and I've uh, programmed it here with the uh, correct data. So I'm just going to put this on here. And I don't think I went over this very well. But if you see this little... You see this little half circle here? This little half circle, that is, uh, that is a reference designator for mask ROM pin 1. So here is mask ROM pin 1. Here is the half moon, as I call it. If we flip it around, you'll see that the half circle absolutely references pin 1 of the mask ROM, both for character and program memory. So I just wanted to talk about that and mention that because I don't think I did a good job of explaining that part. So here we have it. I'm going to um, I'm solder this in here. and I guess what I'll do is I'll use a little no-clean. Sorry about the uh, blur there. I'm just going to do a quick bleed, bead, not bleed, bead just like that. And I'm going to take my, my K-Series uh, Kester branded knife, knife edge tip here. And I'm just going to go down the line like so. There we go. And I'm just going to, not too fast. People, you see people zip down, uh, zip down a board. Uh, drag soldering, and that's fine, but often you get you get weak, uh, uh, fatigue-prone joints if you just if you just fly through it. You know, you got to give you got to give the solder time uh, to wick through capillary action. So there was one side here. Let's just do the other side. Once again, I'm just going to come in here and go like that with a nice little uh, drag there. All right, and it's been such a busy time, guys. I'll tell you, I've been inundated with work, uh, especially around here. Uh, you guys are you guys are really sticking it to me and I love it and I thank you so much for the support and for the emails and everything and it's wonderful. Uh, you're keeping me busy. So I'm just going to come right in here and nice and easy. Just drag it on down, drag it on down. And do, 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 one more right in there. All right, let me clean that up just a bit, just like that. Man, oh man. Okay, let's see. We just need to set our jumpers now. And because, let's see, Final Fantasy III is an MMC3 title, it has character RAM, but it has no character ROM, so we're only using one board, right? So we just need to come right in here, and let's see, we need to set our jumpers to PRG. It's very simply done. I'm just going to come in here, prog. Prog and right in here. Prog. That is done. And you know, I wonder, I think I will probably go ahead for him and just replace this battery. I think that's the right thing to do. Uh, so I'm just going to come in here. Let's see. Let's just pop this out. Even though this is a relatively new battery, I, th I still think I, I still think I just want to pull this out for him and Put in a coin cell holder and yeah, there we go. Let's see, do I want to get out the, the soldering 
uh, pump, or do I just want to uh, let's see if I have any goot wick around here? I don't think I guys. I don't think I've ever shown you guys that before. Let's see if I can. Yeah, here we go. Here's some goot wick. Okay, great. So goot wick, right? Um, it's what I like to use uh, in the three millimeter width. Um, actually, this is, yep, three millimeter width. And what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to submerge this once again in my um, flux here and make sure that the tip that you use, make sure that it has high thermal output or it has adequate thermal mass whenever you're doing large, um, um, whenever you're doing large wicking jobs, like this would be considered, in my opinion, quite large. So we need a lot of thermal mass here. So we got capillary action really working for us. I'm just going to go ahead, I'm just going to hold this into place for about four seconds. And you can just see the solder just wick right into the goot wick. Look at that, isn't that not beautiful? Okay, so we still have an, enough solder here left, or I'm sorry, enough flux left. Let's just move over here and once again, just, just watch it. Um, beautiful and actually you know what I didn't see that let me cut that let me cut that it's actually thoroughly uh, spent so I'm going to cut that let's just come right back in here and let's see all right that's better okay so let's just come in here and now let's hold and apply now watch that wick absolutely beautiful okay that, that plating is so clean it couldn't get any cleaner. Now let's see, I'm missing something. I need two coin cell holders. Give me just a second. Let me come over here. Okay. Now I learned this from a guy on uh, who commented a long time ago somewhere um, about prepping these. Uh, the, this particular um, uh, battery holder for CR2032s. 20, now the trick is, is I'm gonna use some tweezers here. Uh, because you know this is a surface mount part I mean, it, it's a surface mount part you could theoretically do that and I've done that certainly in the past as a matter of fact in the radius sin key video that I did uh, this is exactly how I installed it but there's a better way um, if you just take some tweezers here we just need to wing these out so I'm just going to come in here like that okay and we're going to wing that out but the key see this see that you see the crack there you see the little crack uh, let's see if I can yeah I think I can I can illustrate, yeah, right there. See that fatigue? That's very prone to breaking. So to, to mitigate that from happening or to prevent that from happening, plate it. Plate it with just a little thin layer of solder like this. Just come in here and do a little plating, just like that. Now that'll make that rigid and strong. Okay, now the other side. Here's how I, let's see if I have any. Oh yes, right here. Let me get out a battery first. Uh, that's oh, I've got one battery. There. Okay. So, how do we wing out the other side? Well, this is the way I like to do it. I like to use the battery um, as just a holder. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my Maxell battery, like so. Great. Now that I have that in there, I'm going to take my tweezers. I'm going to... Actually, you know what? Hold on just a second. I'm actually going to use my X-Acto knife because it makes it so much easier. But I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to wing this up too. Just like that. Just like that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So what I'm going to do, just as I did uh, for the positive lead here, I'm going to take a little solder just like that. I think that's a pretty good angle. I'm just going to plate it just a bit. Just like that. And that works beautifully. So let's just, uh, here's our Final Fantasy, uh, here's our uh, TK-ROM. I think that's a TK-ROM, or is that a T and rom TK-ROM has, uh, yeah, T and rom or TK-ROM has character memory, or, yeah, character ROM and not character RAM, so this is a T and rom All right, so what I'm going to do is, now that I've, see, I've winged these out, I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the negative side in first, just like that. And when I get the negative side in, I can then finagle the, the big fat side, just like that. Anode and cathode, cathode and anode. Great. So now that that's in there, all I need to do is turn this around. And where's my solder? It's right here. Okay. Just turn that around. Make sure that's in there firmly, which it is. And I'm just going to come in here like that. I'm just going to real quick. One. 
over here. And two. Let's see, let's zoom out. Beautiful. Okay, so we have uh, Final Fantasy 3 here. This is all set and done. Well, here's our Final Fantasy uh, 3 here, and I've just moved over to the mobile camera, but um, yeah, that should uh, that should do it. Um, see if we can uh, see if I can put it together here for them. Okay, let's see if we got the back shell here. Here's the back. Well, you know what? Before I do that, you guys know how to put the damn thing back together. Let's just uh, just come over here and uh, give it a whirl. There we have it. Oh, wow, no kidding. It was able to keep uh, some of the data. Uh, the SRAM uh, didn't lose it all. That's hilarious. Okay, guys, well, that's, uh, that's that. Um, fun little uh, impromptu video. Thank you.